How you guys? It's Jessica again. I have one of my little nights with my little wine. And my son is with his cousin for tonight. So he needed someone to play with. So today I wanted to run across um, my next video about the prerequisites I had to take in order to get into the surgical tech program here in Georgia. So by the way, of course, this goes for any state. Every state is different with the prerequisites they took. This is just here where I'm at in the state of Georgia within like the Marietta, Atlanta, North Metro area, you know. So um, with that being said, let's start. So the first test I had took was a placement test in order to kind of come back from the school because I had been out of school for some years. So I ended up taking um, the test. Didn't score so great with the math because I don't do math. My math's called pay your bill. Okay. Yeah. So, so with that, you know, I kind of scored low on that. So I had to take a math 90 class. That's a supportive class within the school I go to. Um, and I took a psychology. Psychology was very, very easy. Um, very interesting about the human mind and everything. So that was pretty cool. The only thing that kind of irritated me is that after I took it and I made a B, the year after, they wanted us to, you know, use it as points in order to get into the program. So it is a system based off, you know, about based off of points in order to get into these programs. So like, let's say like an A for that, but like maybe if you make an A for psychology, that is 20 points. And if you make a B, that's like 10 points. So, you know, let's say if I didn't retake that class again, which I did in the future, that would that B would have been like 20 points. And that really would have been nothing. You know, you need you want to get as many points as you want to be competitive to get into these programs. So, you know, you have to, you know, be aware of that. You know, be, be very, very, very aware of that. And so that my first semester back in um, spring of 2017, I took psychology and I took a um, math 90. And then I took the summer off, went to Miami, had fun, party. And then for the fall of 2017, I ended up taking um, English 1 and Math 90B. That was like a part two of the Math 90 along with and kind of pairing it with college algebra. And I really, really, that's why I was working to, to get to college algebra to make it, you know, worth, you know, credits, you know. And with math and English, they are not worth points. They're just those type of prerequisites as long as you make a B and up. I mean a C and up. Correct. I had to correct myself. A C and up. So um with that being said, that was pretty much easy uh for those first two semesters is when you get into the anatomy. So that was 2018, spring of 2018. Anatomy one, those that's worth points. Anatomy on the you know any science class was worth points. And for lecture, it was worth 40 points if you made an A. And if you made a B, it was like 20 points. And then um, lab was worth 10 if you made an A. Um, uh, B would be 5 points, I believe. 5 points. So you, we were all kind of competing against each other, <laughs> trying to make you know A's and B's. Mainly, you want to make that A because that A is worth a lot more points than that B. So you're aiming for that A. So I ended up making B's for the first time I took A&P 1 and I came back that summer and I made my A's. I took the same teacher. I knew her style, knew her teaching style, and it was still fresh in my head. So I was able to do that. So I made my A's with A&P 1. Yay. And then um, with that, um, I ended up taking a psychology again. I ended up taking psychology again and I made, I made my A's. <laughs> so that I mean I got the full 20 points for that. And so that was that was pretty good. So that helped me kind of boost up my point range a little bit. And then um so that uh, that was for summer and then uh for fall I ended up taking um AMP2. So that I made my Bs. I tried to take that class again. <laughs> no, it didn't happen. Uh st was still stuck at Bs for AMP2, which I was like, you know what? It's okay. So that was worth 50 points too. Same thing. 40 for the lecture at the max. 10 for the lecture for the lab at the max. And then um then I took uh, a music appreciation. That was an elective. Some people like to take humanities, some people like to take, you know, 
the speech, theater, you know, I wasn't feeling all that. I like music. I'm a music person. I'm a music head. So that was so fun. If I could take a class over again, that would be a class I would take all over again. But it was in the summertime, so it was kind of crammed within eight weeks. So I wasn't able to kind of get the full experience of uh, music appreciation. So I, but I loved, and then he was a great teacher, Dr. Uh, Kalog. He was great. So yeah, I, that was the one class right there that was worth 20 points, made an A in that, easy class. Like for the small classes that were like 20 points, like you can't really not, you can't not make an A. Do your damn work. Like, and some of these teachers are so simple, just do what they tell you to do. So, <laughs> with that being said, you know, I was able to take those classes and then um, I was able, I came and um, took sociology for uh, for 2018 of spring. I made a B. So I took, retook that again, made my A. I took that online. And um, that was pretty cool. Still the same teacher, like I said, newer teaching style. And I was like, you know, let me just take her again. I know how she works. She remembered me. She was like, yeah, you're my online class. I remember you. <laughs> and so I was like, yeah, I'm trying to make my A. And she was like, no, you're good. So with that being said, um, those main classes, so sociology, psychology, um, English, math, which are not worth points, um, anatomy and physiology, one and two, worth points. And I took micro in uh, 2019, right before I got into the program. So uh, I didn't even really need to take that, but that was more like for me like to have that when I went to go into nursing. So I already have my micro out the way. I don't have to worry about, you know, taking it. I might want to retake it in the future and everything to kind of just make, like I said, make a better grade so it could be worth more points to be more competitive. So um, micro was really good. I made a C in that one. Hmm. Made a C in lecture, but it was still fun. I enjoyed the experience of it, so it was cool. Um, and I made a B for lab, and I got an A on my unknown, but I second-guessed myself. I could have got a full 100, I ended up getting a 90. I got 10 points taken off because I second-guessed myself and put the wrong bacteria for the first one, but I got the second bacteria right. Go figure. Uh, don't second-guess yourself all the time, so it's not worth it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I took that, and that was just, like I said, that was just there just to be there and I took a pharmacology class and that was pretty cool but you do have your own pharmacology class within the surgical tech program so it was really good for me to take that because that was kind of like a refresher and along with microbiology surgical tech microbiology that that's a whole nother class with itself so with me taking microbiology it was kind of refresher so for pharmacology and surgical tech not yeah so pharmacology and microbiology and surgical technology if you take those classes before you get into the program I guarantee you, you're going to be making A's on your test. Or two, it's like, it's, not, it's going to be like a, just like that. It's just, bam. It's going to be, it's, it's, it's going to be nothing to you. It's going to be nothing. So definitely think about that. And so when it came to the T's test, that's a big part of getting to the program. You have to score enough competitive to be competitive. And I, like I said, in, other, in the other um recording I, I made, the other video, like, Come on now. I never took the test. I didn't even know what it was about. I knew what it was about, but I didn't know how, how it worked. I didn't know all that. So I took it, made it 64, and, you know, like I said, got me in a program. Hey, praise God. Uh, <laughs> so in order for me to, like, kind of break that down for you, like, the T's test was something else. Like I said, it was science, which is, like, the main thing they really want you to know. Math, eh, hmm. Reading and English, and those are the main four subjects that you are tested on. And uh, the T test is something else, I tell you. So the books that I used to, you know, to practice with was this one right here. This was the first one. This was given to me by a fellow classmate, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you. Hi, Shout out. So thanks to Sam, you know, I was able to kind of go through this during my uh, winter break before I took the uh, test in March last year. Yeah, last year. It's been last year. And I was like, well, let me just give it a try. Let me just go with this. So I like each day I went through a section and I tested myself on it. So really, really good. So Mo Matrix, really, really good. 
uh, they have their own page to on YouTube. So some of these questions are actually in this book that are actually on the page. And they actually have people doing the questions and solving the problems for you and helping you kind of going through it with you. So it's pretty cool. So definitely look into it. Um, Sam, she had uh, she already had her little highlights in it. And I did my own little highlights and stuff like that. I was trying not to look at her answers. So I erased everything. And what I did was I circled every answer. <laughs> So I wouldn't know which one she circles. So I see circles are all A, B, and C, and D, and sometimes E. So I knew that, like, okay, it's, a start, it's starting over from scratch. I can't say, like, oh, I know it's this because she circled it. So I circled every letter. <laughs> I'm funny. Okay. But, yeah, so um, this is a good book. Look into this. I, like I said, I don't know the price with this. You might want to Google it. Pretty sure Amazon has it for cheap. And if you're a student in school, Amazon Prime is, like, $6.50. 49 cents a month you cannot beat that you cannot so definitely look into that um but yeah this is really really good so definitely look into that book right there gotta take a drink pink mascara i love pink mascara and so the next one this is the one that i bought for myself so i bought the uh five t's test practice test and this is a really good book too. This had like I said five. It like gives you a little little rundown of you know of the subjects and everything. A kind of you know what you know what to expect and how the scoring is. And then it kind of it gets right into it with these five tests. I took two. By the time I got to the third one, I got into the program. So I was like, oh, why well, I need to get that over? <laughs> so, but that is really really good. I paid like twenty six dollars for that off of Amazon Prime was here in like within two days i will probably one day i think i ain't got one day delivery but that is good invest in yourself invest in your future invest in your education like there's nothing wrong with that so definitely look into that um you know and another thing like ask you know classmates and friends people who you're taking classes who already took the t's test because they might have these books and they may be willing to let you see them you know ask you know beggars can't be choosing now you know so i was like look with me being a single parent you know i gotta pay bills like right now i might be able to squeeze something out here and there but if a friend is willing to you know let me see their book and be for free 99 look here we're gonna go for it okay so that uh, that little uh, that mom, that mo matrix book right there right here like that's a really really good book too it, like it explains very much on just about everything in detail of what you need to know how you need to know it so definitely you know ask don't is no shame in asking if see anybody who do you know who might have these books and nothing ati's uh t's website um they have the i want to say it's a two practice test it's a practice test and a b and now that is definitely worth it. You know, some people may not have $75. So, again, ask a fellow classmate who might have, you know, they might got that little deal. They might already have it. So, this is what I did. I had one friend, Naima. Hey, girl, Naima. She's, she made it to the nursing program. And I was there when I can't leave me here in Georgia. But I'm so proud of you, girl. Yes. So, she let me see her, um... She let me look. She she was you know so sweet to let me log into her stuff. So she gave me the login, <laughs> and I took the practice test like a week before I took I had the actual T's test, and I made a sixty five on the practice test, and when I the next week I made a sixty four. So it's pretty accurate. It's just like the freaking test on. It's it's just like it. You can't really you can't beat it. It's it's exactly the same. So that's like seventy five eighty bucks for that, and you could take it as many times as you want. So, um, she let me take it as many times as I want. I was like, hey, can I, I let her know ahead of time. Like, hey, can I log in and, you know, kind of practice? And she was like, yeah, sure. So, definitely, if you have those classmates that are wonderful, you will come across them. I guarantee you I've come across so many great classmates that have turned into good friends and hopefully lifelong friends. So, definitely look into that. So, yeah, the tea, this book right here, so you can see that. I have the third edition. I don't know if there's a newer edition. That one. And then this Mo Matrix book. A-T- A-T- A-T-I-T Secrets. Okay, I know that. That trick ain't kicking in that damn quick. <laughs> but Mo Matrix. <laughs> so that is worth it. Um, I don't know how much that book costs. Like I said, that was from a friend. 
who I took AMP to with, and she was so sweet enough to let me see the book. So, you know, it look here, if you can find ways to dibble and dabble and scurry around some shortcuts to make sure you save a penny in your pocket, but if you do have to, you know, do something for yourself and, you know, put some money, put some money onto your, to your future, do it. Definitely do it. But um, I am getting ready to call it a night. I am getting ready to watch Westworld and hop into my Olaf onesie and sip on my wine. The little one's not here tonight. So I'm going to enjoy myself and feed my face with snacks because I don't have to share my snacks because he's not here. <laughs> so you guys have a wonderful night, especially during this time with the Rona roaming around. Wash your hands, please. Count to 20, sing your ABCs, or one, one, two, three, count to 20, sing the happy birthday song, you know, any song that you could think about that, your know, chorus or hook line, whatever, keep your hands clean, please. So you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.